Welcome from Dog Center for Contemporary Art Prague. Frank Vigru is one of the few artists who is both a musician and a director. His shows, based on his music, integrates new media and performing arts. As a composer and performer, he has the rare capacity to produce a very wide range of sounds from electroacoustic to industrial noise, modern composition and experimental electronic music. Today and tomorrow, uh, we were supposed to see the Czech premiere of his performance called Flash here at Docs Plus multifunctional venue. Due to pandemic situation, as we know, it will not happen now, but on the 3rd and 4th of May 2021. I'm happy you are staying here with us. And before Frank appears, let's have a look at an excerpt from his Flash performance. Hi, Frank. How are you and where are you now? Hi, William. Uh, I'm good. Uh, but honestly, I, I would like to be in Prague instead to be in, um, in the south of France, where I live uh, um, these days. Okay. We just saw the excerpt from your flash performance. For this piece, uh, you were inspired by Ballard's novel Crash as well as what is very interesting, your own experience of a car accident. Could you tell us more about it? Because it sounds very interesting. Well, 20 years ago, uh, I had a pretty violent car crash. Uh, and um, of course, like you can, you can imagine, it's a, it's a very strong experience. So I was uh, pretty wounded. I, I stayed uh, alone for a while, waiting for um, an ambulance and etc. But uh, I remember uh, uh, a short moment of this, which is the, the moment where you, you, um, the crash happens and you are conscious. You know that something very unique is happening, but you don't know really if it's reality or not. Uh, that was my experience. And then, um, of course, I tried to forget it. Uh, and then uh, some years ago, I, I, I heard about um, Concrete Island, the T.J. Um, Ballard uh, novel, so I, I wrote it. Uh, He's famous for, um, uh, he, he wrote a lot of great novels, There's so many, but uh, a lot of people know um, his uh, adapted novel by David Cronenberg, Crash. Uh, and just uh, in this trilogy, there is Crash. And the, the, the first one, I think, is a Concrete Island. Well, uh, uh, Someone has a car crash and is alone uh, for a while in um, in the middle of nowhere, and it's it's this experience of uh, being wounded after a car crash and trying to survive. So, of course, it's connected with my experience, and um, I didn't want to do an adaptation or to to make something close to reality, but in in flesh, which I tried to to use some of these these materials, but trying to keep distant with the, the idea of a car crash, but just what is around and uh, what is this moment of uh, uh, of questioning the reality, you know. 
And uh, yeah, that was really the, the base of uh, the, the, um, the thinking, the dramaturgy of the piece, Flesh. Yeah, and it seems that uh, you deal with this reality in quite hypnotizing way in your performance uh, but let's go to the music to the music because that seems to be very base of everything you do so uh, can you tell us what or who inspired you and took you towards composing the music well first i'm i'm i can say i'm self-taught because uh i had i, I had some lists some guitar list or not some music but uh what I what I learned I, I learned it I learned it by by myself. Um, when I was young, I I, I loved to play uh, blues music, rock music, all these things. And uh, later I started to, to to play kind of modern jazz, more complex music, uh, and. Um, and then I started to experiment with uh, electronics, with uh, turntables, with collage. Uh, yeah, the, the idea of collage is very important or how to, to compose with pieces of sounds. Uh, it's, um, so I, I went to the electroacoustic music, which is really this, this practice of uh, uh, using the sound first and uh, composing with the sound, not something theoric. Uh, if you wrote, if you wrote music on uh, a part, it's really a different practice um, and a very different way to, to compose, of, of course. Um, and uh, later I started to, to, to to create my own things and to compose for also for other musicians and um, and um, to create uh, music with also text etc or radio mm -hmm. or... and in 2009 uh, you have started to collaborate with Compagnie d'autres cordes creating even transdisciplinary shows so how did it happen that you entered new media, creating audiovisual performances uh, where you work with objects and live performers on the stage? So it's not anymore only music, but it's more like we could say cross-disciplinary shows you are doing. Well, in the, yes, some years ago, I started to work with um, some writers or actors and so performance with live, I was on stage and uh, with actors or with dancer. So I, I learned pretty quickly how to, uh, to manage with the stage and uh, over disciplinary. Uh, and um, I think it was in 2010, I, I, I decided to do um, my first uh, collaborative uh, performance with a choreographer from uh, from France and a video artist from also France, Paris, Anton Schmidt. Uh, I still work a lot with him. And uh, it was the first uh, experience of um, uh, composing with uh, video, interactivity, uh, bodies, dance and objects and live music, of course. Mm -hmm. uh... Could you tell us, because Flash, you got inspired by your own experience, but also by the book. Is there anything else that inspires your music and your shows? Or from where it's coming, okay, this is what I feel, this is what I really want to do, this is what I want to put on stage. Could you tell us a bit about it? I have no rules. It's really, a, it depends really of my experiences. Uh, if some things... So if I if I have something to also <laughs> most important is do I have something to to say mm -hmm. uh, you know if I have an idea is something interesting and uh, do I have something to share there is uh, many ways no, but I have no rules about this and yeah I I really feel my follow my intuitions yeah okay. probably be, because I I learned like because my way to learn was experiencing 
meeting meeting other artists or collaborating with people. And uh, yeah, so very intuitive. Okay, so let's have a look now at an excerpt from your Tempest performance now. Frank, as you already mentioned, you often collaborate with other artists um, of quite wide range from different fields, musicians, performers, video designers, etc. How do you choose them and how do you create your productions together with them? Actually, uh, I think I'm, I collaborate with the same artists since the, the last years. Uh, Sometimes new, but uh, for example, you, you just uh, you just uh, yes, the the excerpt you showed uh, was from uh, Tempest, which is a collaboration with uh, Anton Schmidt. Uh, we have over over worked together. We're gonna do a new work uh, uh, next year. So yeah, it's also of course very it depends also re really about the communication and uh, uh, whatever for Antoine Schmidt or Kurt Dasselier, two, two video artists, I work a lot with them. Um, my music and what I produce fits really well, apparently with, uh, with her work. So it's why we still collaborate a lot. And uh, same for, um, Miriam Gourfink, the choreographer from Paris. Uh, I, I uh, asked, it's, I think it's the second time I asked her to, to collaborate for, uh, for, for the choreography of a, of a piece. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, it's, yeah. it's changed all the time, but uh, mm. for, for, for these who's, who's, who's music, musicians, uh, these artists, I, I, yeah, it's a long, uh, it's 10 years of collaboration almost. But probably uh, now with the, 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 in the future, I'm going to probably find uh, new, new people. And it, it really depends of, of the, um, the possibility to share something with uh, an artist. Okay, but is the impulse uh, usually, I mean, the first impulse to create a show, the project or the concert, is it rather coming from you or also they propose to you, look, Frank, I have this kind of idea, could you compose the music to this? Or is it rather you who is kind of in the beginning proposing? Mostly me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I wish uh, I have also... Uh, to, in the, <laughs> but uh, mostly me because, uh, of course, they. I, I'm. I'm. I'm also. I have this production company. I. I'm directing things. So, uh, for, for it, it depends. But for performances, it's mostly me. But uh, of course, it's very collaborative again, and uh, they give me ideas, and we share a lot. But um, yeah, mostly I, I, I ask and I propose and uh, they come to me with, with uh, idea and proposals and um, we compose with it. Depends, sometimes not, but uh, with, uh, for example, with Anton Schmidt, he, he, uh, he had an idea recently and we share about it and we're gonna probably do a new piece uh, next year about this. And um, again, no rules, yeah. Okay, with a, such wide range of projects, what do you consider the mission statement of your work? Is there 
something that unites your work and research? Is there something that you feel, okay, this is the base, this is what I feel, this is where I need to go, and that's something that I can see in all my projects as something that unites them? Well, I think what unites all these projects is my music, okay? Simply. Uh, uh, that's the most important is uh, I'm, I'm trying to explore a lot with this music and uh, uh, to associate it with uh, uh, visual bodies and movements. I don't know, a lot of machinery. Uh, I, I like I like to because because I also do this music and perform in perform it uh, by myself. But alone, I don't have a band. I, I also have project with musicians, but uh, most of the time I'm play, performing alone, so uh, solo. So I also love to collaborate. It's also probably why I'm I'm trying to not stay alone in my studio or playing alone live. Uh, solo life, which I do sometimes, but I really prefer to perform with uh, other artists. You know? mm -hmm. But the particularity of this music, of most of the music I do, is that I perform it solo. So it's probably, it probably explains why uh, also I like to share uh, uh, and to, to associate it with uh, uh, over disciplinary. It seems that the current pandemic situation is uh, not so easy for collaborative projects and perhaps would be now better to shift again to your solo works. But uh, tell us, how is this COVID-19 situation influencing your work in a practical and how is it influencing in an artistic way? Can you see already some influence what is going on? I, I can't say if it influences me uh, at all. I, I I don't know. Just I just know that because we are impeached and we cannot, we have so many things uh, postponed or cancel. I spend much more time in my studio, and uh, I this year I finished an album and I'm trying. I'm working on a new one, and um, in very different, in a very new different di direction, very different direction to, than the other one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm glad we I can, at least me, I can work in my studio. I'm not only an interpreter, which is yeah. difficult these days. I can also compose and uh, produce. So I'm pretty lucky. Mm. But, but I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it influences me. Yeah, but anyhow, I mean, practically, uh, you mentioned how many shows you had to cancel and postpone this year. Tell, tell us a lot. No? Uh, more than 25, probably, yeah. Yeah, it was. So, but uh, I think, two, I hope 2021 will be busy. And uh, because playing live, performing all these things is uh, really, uh, we are so grateful because we can meet so many people. and. You know, some people sometimes they, uh, they come after the show and say, "This, this, this is gonna change my life." Sometimes we have uh, words like this from from the from people in the audience. So it's still very important to be able to perform, to travel. Yeah, of course, it's obvious. And we regret so much not to having you right here now in Prague, here in a multifunctional venue Dogs Plus, but let's at least have a look at another fragment from your work now. So what we just saw was the excerpt from your Foray production 
could you tell us more about it? What was the inspiration and how did you develop the piece? Yeah, it's, um, it's a new project, but we, I started to work on it uh, one year ago and uh, it will be probably a premiere uh, uh, in September 2021, if everything is fine. Um, this actually came, the start came because uh, I was uh, touring in uh, South America and uh, I was flying over Amazonia, reading a very famous uh, book from uh, um, import, the important, very, also a very important uh, French ethnologist, Claude Lévi-Strauss. Uh, his book is very famous, uh, um, Triste Tropique. I was reading Triste Tropique. Uh, we, we, it's, it's a kind of adventure, but it's more than that, of course, uh, of uh, Claude Lévi-Strauss in the, in the Amazonia. And um, at the same moment, uh, I remember in... Uh, I, I, read the new, I read the news and uh, um, a Canadian missionary was killed in, the, in, a, in a very small island uh, in the south of India. And um, he tried to evangelize, I don't know if you, we can say that, this, we can use this word, uh, of, um, a tribe of uh, no contact, I don't know what you say, but people with, with a tribe with no contact with the civilization. And uh, that was, yeah, it was in the news. So <clears throat> that was the start. <clears throat> and then I don't know why I started to, to, to watch and to read a lot about uh, all this uh, uh, civilization, Amazonian people, all these things. It's a long story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do short, but uh, that was the, the idea first. And the uh, so for, for him in forest, and uh, it's not really about tribes or, or Amazonia, but that's something, um, yeah, that's something very phantasmagoric uh, about the idea of uh, natural culture. Uh, Lost tribe, lost civilization, or all this, all this world. Okay, uh, could you mention any other artist whose work you love and admire? It's really difficult because there are so many, so many, so many, no, uh, so many f f writers, uh, sociologists, ethnologists. So many musicians. Uh, I, I, if I just no, there's too many. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Let's stay with that this way. Anyhow, your show seems to be quite powerful and personal. We could say audiovisual contemplations, and they create quite strong emotional dialogue. How you would describe yourself? The impact of your performances to your audience and what are you actually sharing with the audience through your performances? It's, it's a good question, but honestly, it's not a, a question I, I, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I hope there is an impact. I think there is. The idea is first to, to create some, first I'm, I'm performing the piece, but, uh, it's, I do exactly what I would like uh, to see, you know, as in simply, I'm, I'm trying to be instead the, the, the audience and say, well, what I would like to see, I, 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 which, which was, what I like is to really have a, a physical experience, a visual experience, sound experience, all these things, uh, reunit and, um, and of course, uh, to, to find, uh, uh, I hope, a universe, you know, something really unique, you know. And uh, I don't know if I, if, if I do it, if, uh, but uh, if I do it, it's really because I have 
very also very uh, very amazing collaborators uh, like uh, all, all these people in flesh uh, that's also I'm as I said before my work is very collaborative I just I'm doing the and conduct it but uh, I, I don't do the video I don't do the dance the choreography uh, I know a lot, but all this is because uh, I have great people working with me. Okay, let's have a look now um, at the excerpt from your production called The Island. Frank, what are your next or other plans and visions for your work? Where you would like to develop or what are your future ideas? Tell us. Uh, these days, I'm, I'm working a lot in studio, uh, new materials. And uh, it's, uh, as I say, it's, it's, it's different, uh, it's very different. It's a really new new path, uh, and there is a lot of. Uh, I wish a lot of dance, and I want to work with dance again. But uh, uh, I'm doing something. I, I have to say, I, it's a bit early to say to say what I gonna do. But with, I I imagine something um, uh, with some. Uh, Aesthetic from the vapor wave, eighties, retro eighties uh, period, and uh, the music is very um, strong, big beats, and uh, I don't know, but yeah, it's not obscure at all. Uh, probably something I'm gonna i gonna develop uh, more more so within the next uh, months, but. Now, first, I'm composing the music. Yeah. Okay. How would you interest audiences from Prague in your flash performances in May 2021? What do you would say to your audience here in Prague to come? Well, I think, uh, I hope, but um, we already perform flash uh, uh, many times. Um, it's gonna be a real experience, believe me. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, Frank, let me thank you for the interview and for the wonderful work you are doing. It was very interesting to learn more about how you are thinking, how you are creating. We all here are looking forward to seeing your flash performances here at Docs on the 3rd and the 4th of May 2021. And thanks to all of you who stay here with us and make sure you are not going to miss Frank's performances because, as he said, it's going to be real experience. So come and see it alive May 2021. See you at Docs. <laughs>